Well, the calendar still says we're officially in fall, but we all know winter weather can pop up at any time. In fact, it is Winter Hazard Awareness Week here in Minnesota. Cody Matz joins us now with some seasonal reminders as we are hearing that maybe we'll get a little bit of snow this mm. week. Uh, the indeed, timing yeah. is good. <laughs> yeah, good good timing on this and uh, just because you know it uh, it's, you know the term winter precipitation, it doesn't always occur in the winter. It snows here in fall and in spring, of course, and so we can really use this uh, reminder really any time of the year. Now, there's a pretty good chance parts of southern Minnesota to get some light accumulating snow, so it's a good time to review some of these winter headlines. All right, so there are winter uh, watches, there are winter warnings, and there are advisories. Now, a watch means that uh, conditions are favorable, or at least possible, to get some uh, winter impacts in the days ahead. So be prepared for possible disruptions to daily life. Now, an advisory means be aware that conditions may be hazardous enough to cause those issues to daily activities. And a warning can mean that hazardous conditions will affect our daily life, so adjustments will be needed at that point. Now, we experience several different types of winter storms here in Minnesota. Winter storm itself is described as significant snow, sleet, or blowing snow that can lead to at least six inches of accumulating precipitation, a.k.a. sleet or snow, and or heavy blowing snow. Now, a blizzard, though, has a very specific definition. A lot, I know a lot of us refer to just about anything that has low visibility with a blizzard, but it's not. It is reserved for a very specific storm of the most extreme intensity. So this is defined as a storm creating at least three hours of 30 mile per hour sustained winds and visibility less than a quarter mile over the three hour time period. This doesn't necessarily have to come with falling or accumulating snow. It's more about the significant blowing snow. Now an ice storm means there's the potential for more than a quarter inch of ice or more, which could lead to dangerous travel conditions along with likely significant power outages and tree damage. The National Weather Service can also issue a snow squall warning. Now, these are rare in Minnesota, but they have happened. In fact, a couple times the last couple of years. Think of it like an isolated thunderstorm in the summer. Obviously, though, it's winter, so it's a quick hitting burst of snow that can drop visibility from normal to near zero in just a few seconds time and last for a few minutes and then it moves on and visibility returns to normal. Now, wind chill warnings have different thresholds depending on where you live, but in general, these are issued when there are strong winds and a risk of quickly developing frostbite and hypothermia, typically less than 15 minutes. Here in the metro and in southern Minnesota, extreme cold warning is categorized by temperatures and or wind chill values of 35 degrees below zero or colder. Northern and central Minnesota, that's 40 below or colder, which could lead frostbite in less than five minutes. So there you go. A friendly reminder of what lies ahead, even in the mildest of cold seasons, though. For us here in Minnesota, every single one of those headlines will likely get issued at least once. Some years, it's several dozen times. Sure is. <laughs> the way it goes around here. Some years, it feels like it'll never end. Uh -huh. All right, Cody, Something thank like you.